More than 150,000 Kenyans lost their money through Pyramid Scheme and the recovery process of their investment has not been easy at all. Officers in the relevant ministries were not well informed, according to the National Coordinator of the National Pyramid Scheme Victims Initiative, at the main hindrance in the recovery of the money. That should have uh, been uh, easy for us if uh, the officers who are on day-to-day -day running the offices are able to make uh, binding decisions. Most question why the government had to register all the cooperatives without proper assessment. This, they feel, is a problem that could have been prevented rather than cured. The punishment or the penalties stipulated in our laws are very lenient for people who have involved themselves in crimes involving large amounts of money. I think that that one has given a, is a, a loophole to many of the people who want to transact shoddy and illegal business. So far, 4.1 billion shillings has been registered as lost and the amount could raise to at least 12.1 billion shillings in the ongoing registration, which will end on Friday with possible extension countrywide, an initiative meant to recover the lost money where victims are supposed to carry with them receipts of the pyramid schemes, ID copies, which are stamped either by a pastor, lawyer or chief. With the ever-increasing cost of living, it will not be a surprise if more Kenyans find themselves in a similar situation yet again. Margaret Kenyo for News at 8.